is going to be a reading for cancers. How are you guys doing? Spirit guides, what are the most important messages for cancers? So if you'd like a personal reading, all my information is in the description box below. You can email me. Wow. So some of you may be feeling like a wallflower right now. You may be feeling shy um, or like plain or just like, I don't get that really vibe. I, I get more of a vibe like you're just doing your own thing. Cancers can be like home bodies. You like to stay at home. You like to just um, be with your friends um, or your close like family members like not too social, you know, and then we have new love, so I'm getting the feeling that um, some of you are trying to manifest a new love in your life, or um, when you least expect it, I'm getting the vibe that you'll find someone to be like your new love, and then, um, let's see, what else are the messages for cancers? And um, focusing on your self-love too is important for attracting new love. And um, some of you guys will be meeting your true love, like the love of your life, the person who you're meant to be with for the rest of your life. You'll be meeting them soon. But that always happens when you least expect it. So of course, don't go searching for it. Or um, don't go trying to find it on your own. Just let it come to you. Okay, anything else? Anything else for cancers? Well, nothing is coming out. Let's see. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see. Any other oracle cards for cancers? Any other oracle messages for my cancers? Okay, blonde female. Some of you might be a blonde female yourself if you're watching this. Or your new love might be a blonde female if you're a male cancer. And we have at the bottom, past life. So this could be a soulmate, someone who you've known before in a past life, who's coming in. You guys have um, a past together. You've known each other before. Maybe you have a soul contract to fulfill in this lifetime. Let me just shuffle these cards. Let's see. All right, what are the um, oracle messages from this deck, please, spirit guides? What are the oracle messages from this deck, please, for cancers? From this deck. For cancers. Okay, first one out. We have single mommy. Some of you are a single mom yourself. Some of you could be dating a single mom. You're interested in one. It could be the new love in your life. Let's see. What are the other oracle messages from this deck? Um, but if not, if you don't have kids, this could be like um, 
you know, if you're a female cancer, you're doing it all on your own. Like mastering that self-love. We have gossip and or entrepreneurship, you know, like doing it yourself. You're doing it all on your own. So um, be careful if someone is gossiping about you or be careful of the friends around you. If they're talking about you, maybe don't like tell everybody your business. Maybe keep to yourself right now just in case um maybe be careful what you post online people might be misinterpreting it um we have the empress so i feel like this is definitely your guys's energy you're realizing your worth you're realizing your value with the empress card here you know she knows who she is and what she wants she wants the best for herself out of life and um we have daddy so some of you are dealing with a baby daddy or if not because we did have the single mommy card but if not if it has nothing to do with kids we did have this um new love card so some of you have just found that one guy who means everything to you he's everything you've been looking for you know he's daddy right like that's it goal or end game goals okay let's see what else? Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Because um, we have the bad bitch card. We have torn. There might be a decision in which you're torn about, like, maybe if you don't know whether or not to please yourself or to please others, people in your life, maybe family or friends who mean a lot to you. Sometimes you guys can go out of your way. You know, cancers are really like loving and giving um, to please others. So you, you feel torn between like giving and receiving or giving to yourself. Okay, we have sun. So some of you are definitely um, mothers here with that single mommy card whether you have a son maybe some of you are pregnant it's falling right underneath the empress card the empress can mean fertility um child or pregnancy so some of you might be pregnant you could be having a boy um if you didn't know i hope that didn't spoil it for you but if that's what you wanted congratulations all right, we have new love again. That's the second time. So it's definitely some of you are meeting someone new. We have connected. I feel like this is, um, I know that this is two females looking at each other. But when I saw this, I, I felt like it looked like she's looking in the mirror. So I feel like this is you're connected to yourself. You know, um, you may feel really like, really connected to yourself right now you're mastering that self-love and um you like you know what we said earlier you know who you are you know what you want and you know what you're doing and you're doing exactly what you want out of life right now you're getting exactly what you want and that's exactly how you build the life of your dreams and how you manifest so let's see what the tarot cards say so we have the Eight of Swords, though. So that is something is blocking you or standing in your way. Um, with the Eight of Swords, though, like, you can release yourself from this. You only feel trapped within your mind. So I'm not sure what that's about. Compared to these other cards, it looks like you guys were really clear about what you, you're doing. But we have the um, Seven of Pentacles. So I would say give it time or... Just work on those things a little bit harder that you feel like are standing in your way or blocking you. And you should be able to get to where you want to be. Alright, let's see. What is the other tarot messages? We have the Seven of Cups. So there's some confusion. We have the Ten of Cups. So, wow, great card. Beautiful. So that's the end all be all. That's like, you know abundance, emotionally, happiness, complete happiness. 
And with all of these new love cards, it seems like some of you are definitely finding exactly who it is that you want to be with, you want to end up with, um, and you're in love. So that's really exciting. We do have the Knight of Pentacles, so this can be slow moving but stable. So whether or not some of you are in a relationship, you may feel like it's going really slowly or it's not happening as quickly as you want it to. But with the Knight of Pentacles, it does mean that it's the most stable. However, you do um, still have some work to do because it is just a knight level and we want to be on like a king level, right? That would be the mastery. Okay, so we have the ace of swords. So there's going to be some communication. So some of you could be hearing from someone soon. For those of you who have been dealing with like um, an air sign, that would be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You might be getting some communication from them soon. Or this could mean that um, you're becoming clearer about a situation that has been confusing you. You could be getting a breakthrough soon about that, okay? And I see you doing some, some of you, some introspection, self-work, going within, going into hermit mode, um, looking within, thinking about what it is that you truly want out of life or who you are, um, making some decisions. And some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. That's a Virgo card. All right, but we have the High Priestess. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, but this means that to follow your intuition, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. So I'm getting um, the energy from these three cards that once you go within and figure it out what it is you truly want and you get clear on those things by following your inner guidance you may it may cause um a reaction of like teamwork from someone who you're dealing with if you feel like they haven't been putting an effort or giving you the time of day sometimes um, those around us are a reflection of ourselves so getting clear within yourself and communicating those needs, right, with the Ace of Swords um, can cause, like, a positive reaction from others around us. They can um, meet our needs more. So anyways, I hope that helps for you guys. Please let me know if it resonates for you, and we'll see you next time. Bye!